Hey guys, welcome back to Millennial Tea. It's your girl Tiffany, and today's topic of discussion is going to be Eva Marcel and the lies that she has. Hey guys, it's your girl Tiffany back with Millennial Tea. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button, take a seat, grab you a cup because you know I'm serving it hot. Hold. Basically, the cast, they keep catching her in lies and she keeps trying to say that she doesn't remember saying things. Everyone knows she's already been the topic of discussion for calling the women nappy headed on the show. Then she'll, you know, make up a reason or give her a phony little reason of why she said it instead of just standing behind the statements that she make. So today's um, topic is going to be what she said about Portia. And basically, Candy had to tell her, like, you know, this is what you said. And of course, Eva's trying to say she didn't say it. And that's not true. So we're going to basically discuss what she said and then show run the video. So basically, she said, she's all up in my business. Maybe I should forward her some of these blogs about Dennis so she can move can, so she can have some business to mind. And her C-section ain't even healed yet. She's over here worried about me. So that's what Marcel, um, Eva Marcel said to the ladies when they were like all chit chatting. And then it got relayed back to Portia. And when Portia found out, Eva basically said, I want to respond to it because that was definitely not what I said. Portia, is Candy a liar? So she's making it up. Candy, no, I'm not making. No, I'm not. Eva, I did not say anything about forwarding a blog. Portia, I'm sitting here telling you in front of Candy with her that that wasn't the case. Candy, I think sometimes when you get upset, you're doing your reads or whatever. Sometimes that shit comes off real effed up. So we're going to run the footage of when she did say exactly what Candy said she said. I don't know Kenya's middle name. I don't know Kenya's real eye color. I don't know that lady. I said I don't want to bring my kids around because I don't know Kenya, period. And I'm saying it now, and I say it again, and I say it later. Did I ask where her husband was? I mean, Kenya definitely felt like some kind of way, but you know Kenya can be a little dramatic. I mean, well, she found a way because past. of the way the information was brought to her. And well, that's, I didn't yeah, that's that my issue because that that's messy. Of course, she just had a baby. And I tiptoed around her whole little feelings. Come on now, bitch, if you want me to go off. Of course, you got enough bullshit going on Look. in her life, but she can converse about that. Bun, yeah. turn down, bun. She needs the business. All right, and I'm going to forward her a lot of these blogs so she can mind that business. Portia might want to stay all the way up out of my business. She still got her C-section healing. She over here worried about somebody else's babies. Ooh, leave him alone. Let her have his baby. That's actually. Eva Marcel, she just needs to stand behind what she says and, you know, have a backbone about it. If you said it, you said it. Oh, well, tell the lady that's what you said and that's how you felt because of whatever was going on at the moment. She always, like, tries to backpedal and and make up reasons of why she's talking smack and being shady. If you're shady, you're shady. At least just own up to it and, you know, tell the Portia, this is how you feel because of whatever she did to you. You know what I mean? Like, you obviously felt she was in your business. So, yeah. Eva, as you can see, she be telling these lies and then she'll backpedal and say she didn't say it. She don't remember saying it. And this is what she said. And at that point, they had already caught her on tape. And this this just happened on the last episode when they caught her on, you know, when they were going back and forth about what she said. But as you can see, Eva, she I mean, I like Eva, but she just needs to own up. And hey, hey, yeah, I said it. Oh, well, just like when she's called him nappy headed. If she called him nappy headed, she called him nappy headed. She just needs to stand behind that. This is reality TV. These girls be talking about each other's kids and all types of stuff. They be all up in there, each other's business. So her calling them nappy headed and then they're again so offended about what she said. I'm just like, oh, you know, oh, well, they need to call, you know, say something else back to her because they're sitting here making a big deal about it. But yet they be talking about people's kids. I'm not saying they talk about her kids, but on the shows, they be just talking about all types of shit. So her saying that, that's something that's water on the bridge. And basically, she just needs to be owning up to these comments. And yeah, I said it. But go ahead, drop a comment, smash that subscribe button. Peace out, people.